here and today this looks really boring in hindsight i'm looking at this in the packaging i'm like no one knows what this is as you can tell from the title today i will be unboxing my penny cosplay from the cartoon series ruby now i won't lie i have not caught up with ruby I have not watched Ruby in a very long time. I don't like where the story is going from what I've been informed by my friends in Twitter. Uh, but I love Penny, and so when my friends said, hey, I wanna do a Ruby group, do you wanna be Penny? Um, how could I say no? She's like the best character, I'm sorry. They love killing her off, but she's the best character. So today we will be unboxing my Penny cosplay. I don't know when this photo shoot is going to be. So in this video, I don't think I'll have any like vlog footage from the shoot, but hopefully when that shoot happens, I will like film my makeup and like have a cute little vloggy vlog, but we're just gonna unbox it and try it on today. Also, I need to figure out where I'm gonna get a wig for Penny. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. Cause Arda has been out of stock of the wig I want for Penny, and I don't know when they're gonna restock. So, um, and then Epic does not have the right shade of orange for me. So I'm just in a, where do y'all buy orange wigs that aren't like bright neon orange? So this is part two of my like Taobao order. Uh, I showed my Yuzuria cosplay, and this was the other cosplay in that order. So let's just get into it. But. Before we get into the unboxing portion, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because I post new videos every single week. And I'm very excited to open this. You know I love a little Ziploc baggie. Oh. So actually I will insert the photo of which outfit specifically I got. Do I remember which volume this is from? No. This was around when I fell off the ruby train for like the third or fourth time. But I like this outfit a lot, so. That is the penny that I am doing. In our first little baggie, we have the petticoat situation, which has a nice elastic waistband and has really cute pleating at the bottom. This is super cute. And then the inside is lined and then you have the like petticoat material. So what's nice about the lining is that it's not super itchy, but usually I wear like shorts under a cosplay with a petticoat because I find petticoats so itchy. But I like the pleats on the petticoat. I feel like it could be cute for other cosplays too. Very, very cute. And then we have the shirt which truly, if this shirt don't work for me, um, I'm just gonna wear another white button-up shirt. This one doesn't have a collar though, so I might just take a white button-up shirt that fits me better and just like tuck in the collar if I have to. But this top is very pretty. I will say I got this in an Asian large. Typically from this store, I buy an Asian medium and that fits me better, but I was worried with the button-up shirt so I went with an Asian large, so. It is a very nicely made shirt. It has like cute little, like where it's gonna make little puff sleeves and these little kind of like bell cuffs. And it has like really pretty detailing in the front. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I like all the darting. Like I feel like it's gonna have a nice shape. Now onto the more exciting parts. This is the overskirt, which also is fully elasticated. Love this. Stop putting zippers in things that don't need zippers. I can make a whole video about my cosplay pet peeves, but that's one of them. But yes, here's the skirt. It's definitely gonna need a little bit of an iron, but it's very pretty. I like it a lot. I think it's gonna be really cute with the petticoat under it, but I love, again, elasticated waistbands. Especially like when you're not gonna see the waistband, give me an elasticated waistband. It don't need a zipper. It's very pretty. It's a nice like thick material too. Like the goal is to be shooting this cosplay in like the fall winter time. So I feel like I'm gonna be super warm in this, which is nice. And we got, let's see. Oh my gosh. Then we have the hair bow, which is super cute. I think that goes like 
I mean, I'm adjusting the bow. Something like that. And it has one of those little clips to clip it into the wig. Very nice. It has like, it's pretty sturdy. The tails of the bow are a little more floppy, but the bow itself is pretty sturdy. So I think it'll be fine. Then we have, I think this is like the little like neck bow situation. This is a little sad to look at, I'm not gonna lie. So like the brooch part is literally just like, I might get like a green gem to put here. And then it's just like a bow ribbon with like a little clip on the back. I hate these types of clips on cosplays. They always fall off. So I might add like a green gem to this and then add a different type of pin to the back to attach it to the cosplay. Which thing are you? Oh, this is the like neck collar situation. This will go, I can't remember if this goes up or if it goes down. I don't remember, it's been a minute. But it has Velcro, so. It looks like it should fit my neck fine. Usually I find with like cosplay, like neck, necklaces, chokers, things like that, they always run a bit big. So usually I end up like safety pinning along the back, but this looks like it should fit pretty nicely. Oh my goodness. Okay, so which piece? I think this is like, oh, they made the jumper. Okay, okay, I'm figuring this out. So this is like the little, they made the jumper skirt as two pieces, like a skirt and a top like corset part instead of making it all one piece, which I kind of like. I feel like it'll be easier to put on then. So this is like, this is not easy to show. How do I show this? So this part like goes around the waist and it has like a lace up, mm -hmm. like a lace up in the back to tighten it. And then it has these suspender straps that will connect to the skirt in the back. So if you know what like a jumper skirt looks like, honestly, I'll insert a photo again of the cosplay or the character here so you can see what I mean. But like, this is how it's gonna look on. And then we have some little black gloves. They're very cute gloves. I like the little like lace at the bottom, even though you're not even gonna see that because the sleeves are gonna cover it. But let's. Cosplay gloves that fit my hands. This is rare. They're actually very comfy, nicely made. Good stretch, good cosplay gloves. And what else? Oh, these are the leg pieces, which in looking at them might be a little long on me. And they have a Oh no, this goes to something else. So these are like the leg warmer boot cover things that Penny has. I like them. They have a ton of stretch at the top. So I'm not worried about that. I just think overall they might be a little long for my legs, but we'll see. I think probably if I have like good enough like heel boots on, I feel like it shouldn't be a problem. And then here's Oh no, they're supposed to have these little buckles attached. To go the other way? Wait, I need to look at a picture. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, no. So this is, this is the top part, interestingly. And then this clips on, like you can clip it onto yourself or like maybe like if it just fits your thigh. And then this is supposed to be big and poofy at the ankle. I had it backwards. So, um. I'm looking at this, I'm hoping my leg fits in that, but that will be for trying on Gabby to figure out. I was more optimistic about this fitting my leg, but it, this is the top. And it comes with these little like straps, which are literally like knotted into the boot. That's why the other one came off. So I don't know how secure that's gonna be, but um, I think we're gonna try things on and I will come back with majority of the cosplay on. I'm not gonna put on every little accessory. I'm mainly gonna put on the top, the corset, the skirt, the petticoat, and the boot covers. Cause those are the parts that you need to know if they fit or not. The little like hair bows and accessories, like those can be fixed. But in terms of like an overall review, I think you want a review of the actual things that mostly need to fit your body. All right, we'll be back. 
I'm gonna try to figure out how to put this on by myself and uh, we'll see how this goes. I will insert a clip right here of what it looks like on. Ah, uh, love the cosplay. Honestly, it fits super comfortably. Uh, the skirt, obviously, fine, it's elastic. The corset is a little hard to do by yourself. I basically unlaced it as much as possible and then slid it over myself. I kind of wish it had a zipper. I know I said earlier you don't need zippers, but I feel like if it had a zipper, it could make it a little bit easier to put on by yourself. Very quickly in the clip though, you'll see the only problem I have fit-wise is the blouse, which is what I was concerned about. Um, when you look at the construction of this blouse, it's definitely meant to be very fitted, like that's how they made it. However, even though I equated in the hopes of getting a large that it would fit my bust, it, there's still the, the little Mitsuri window situation that I'm ever so used to with button-up shirts and cosplay. So like I said, my plan will be to just take a different white button-up shirt, tuck the collar in, but also the collar I don't think would even be visible with the black piece over it. So I probably just will wear like a regular white button-up shirt. Tragically, I won't have the fun little sleeves, but also they're weirdly short on me and I don't have long arms. Like I'm 4'11", I'm not tall. But if this is as long, like it doesn't even cover it, like fully go to my wrists. Like it's a little short in the top, so. If you get this cosplay, I recommend it, honestly. However, I just think the way the blouse is constructed is in theory really pretty, but is still short. Like, that's what's weird to me. But yes, I feel really cute. I feel really pretty. I'm very excited to get to like properly wear this cosplay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Again, don't know when that's gonna be, but trying to plan that shoot soon. I'm very excited. We have like a big Ruby group shoot. I'm so excited even though I've not watched the show in like, since college. But yeah, overall, if you like the character Penny, I do recommend this cosplay. If you are a similar height or like body structure to me, it might size a little weirdly, but at least with something like a white button up shirt, it's pretty easy to just like thrift another one or something like that. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, yes you, make sure you hit the subscribe button, it's right there. Woo! And in the comments, let me know who your favorite Ruby character is. Um, like I said, mine's Penny. Um, again, I don't really know what's currently going on. I think the last time I watched was like volume four or volume five. I don't even remember when. That's how bad it is. Like, I know it's gone downhill, but like, there's like a teeny tiny amount of me that's fascinated enough to maybe keep watching it. So let me know if I should even attempt to keep watching it. Follow me over on Instagram and Twitter to see cosplay content. Like I said, once the shoot happens, I will be sharing photos there. I'm so excited. Also, cause my friends are really cute Ruby. So like, we're gonna have really cute photos. So um, I can't wait for that. I'm very excited. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.